Hi everyone, today we're going to check out the a Lego Republic Gunship, the set number 75021 that came out in 2013. Certainly one of the best a Lego Star Wars set a, in the last decade, I would say even in all the years of, of Lego Star Wars. A, you can see it easily by all the opinions of the people that you can see reviews, videos, but also on special as website of used or a resale of Lego like Brinklink that you can see that there's like a I don't know thousand of people that ask for it is one of the top five of the most wanted sets of, of Lego in the history of Lego so really this gunship is a must have if you're a fan of Star Wars you of course can still have the opportunity to have it so let's start with the minifigures. You have a good selection of minifigures on this set. First, you have two battle droids that uh, look exactly the same, so I just put one. Uh, is nothing special to say about it. After, you have a great Captain Clone Trooper with an helmet with tones of dark, red, and gray. I really l love this one. It's certainly my favorite of the set. After, you have the Episode 2 version of Obi-Wan Kenobi with the red hair, the printed doors and the legs are pretty basic in my opinion, nothing special to say about it. I especially love also the figure of Padme Amidala with the scratches on the back, the details are pretty amazing, you can see even that there's one arm without the outfit, that is really a good detail from Lego. And we continue with the figure of Anakin Skywalker with the green lightsaber that we know that he broke his blue lightsaber just before the Battle of Geonosis. I think that just Lego missed the haircut on this one because the color is not so accurate and the kind of tail that is supposed to have in the movie. And you can see it on the torso of the figure, but I don't think that we see it well. It's not Lego didn't make it so well that you can see it easily. So I think that it's just maybe the only thing that Lego didn't success on these minifigures. And at the end, you have a clone pilot with tons of yellow on the helmet, the logo of the Republic, but I think that we should have another one because you have two cockpit in this gunship for the commons and you just have one clone pilot in on the box. You can see that I think, if I remember well, that is Obi-Wan on the second cockpit and I don't imagine it like this in the movies or it's not so realistic. I mean, maybe a little mistake from Lego, but otherwise, overall, you have a really good minifigures and most of the collectioners would love to have this set for the minifigures. So this gunship have a lot of functionalities, playability, and we start with the front of the gunship with some missiles that are like hidden in a compartment. And it's a nice detail, of course, if you want to play a battle, you can throw these missiles. And I love how the door open and close on each side of the gunship. A really a good system made by Lego with some technique bricks. I really like it, it's a nice detail. And yes, I think that you can't guess that there is something inside these doors. It's really, really nice. After we continue with the mailbox, if I can call it like this, there's like four in total on this gunship. I don't know why so much they are there, because you can't put nothing inside except some little accessories, but really it's more for the decoration than nothing. Well, after for the minifigures, the main part is the cockpit, of course, with the stickers for the control. The clone pilot first and after you put whatever minifigure that you want because there's no other clone pilot maybe is a something that i would have loved of course i said it before but i really like how fit the minifigures inside you see it well and um, the cockpit is pretty nice on each side of the gunship you have these kind of pods that are not totally closed they should be in my opinion but the functionality is pretty nice you can put it inside outside as you want the only problem is that inside, of course, takes space for the other minifigures. And at the end, on each side of the wings, you have other pods. You can put, of course, minifigures. The goal is from LEGO to put all the minifigures of the set inside the gunship, except, of course, the battle droids. And I think that is a really a good idea. But for me, the best functionality is, is this one, is that you can put as much clones as you want, a Jedi, I don't know by opening the door and put your minifigures is really amazing i feel that you can recreate whatever scenario of the clone wars of the battle of geonosis yeah it's really perfect i mean was necessary for this gunship and lego really nailed it the system of the door 
to close to open works perfectly. At the back, you have a speeder that is like hidden inside and then you can put even your minifigures on it. And the speeder look good, it's color brown. I think that the, the style is, is pretty good. And I like the fact that it's like old inside. Uh, you don't see it, it's really a like, kind of surprise, I mean. And just over this door of the back, you have a compartment for the stockage, I don't know, whatever, accessories, lightsaber, blasters for your minifigures. So after you can put whatever minifigures inside your gunship. I think that all the functionalities are pretty good. The only thing that I didn't like too much are the stickers I'm showing you right now. They are not so easy to apply. Some of them are a little bit difficult. And the one of the wing, for example, that you're gonna see is really big, not so discreet. I mean, I don't like it so much, but it's just my opinion. And to finish, you can hold the gunship on with this Technic brick. I really like this option. It's pretty heavy, the gunship, and it's really an, an easy way to, to hold it because it's not so easy otherwise. So in conclusion for this gunship, I think that really it's an amazing set. There's no not too much bad things to say about it. Uh, you can display it, you can play with it. Uh, have a lot of hidden functionalities. I love especially the one that is not hidden, of course, the one of the doors that can open and close entirely almost is pretty good. I think that the system always is really amazing and the fact that you can put your minifigures inside the gunship, open it, close it, really you can recreate whatever scene of Star Wars that is really uh, something really cool. I was really excited when I received it and I was not disappointed when, when it was done. The building was, uh, I would say, as much as 3-4 hours maybe, I, I don't remember well, but um, some interesting techniques mainly the front of the gunship. The end was more repetitive uh, with the wings, the doors that were of course the same uh, techniques of construction. But as you can see, it's really pretty large, pretty big. Um, and I know that is not so big compared to the UCS version of this year, but I think that the size is enough for me and I can't afford to have bigger one than this and take already a lot of space in my my place for the my Legos, so yeah, I'm not disappointed. I really definitely don't regret uh, to buy this one. Uh, maybe the price, of course, a little bit higher than should be is normal with the value and the fact that it's a set from eight years ago. I, I'm really happy about it. You have a great selection of minifigures, a great shape, a uh, really perfect. There, there's nothing much to say. Maybe just the stickers are a little bit annoying. Uh, to put on the pieces and the big one that I feel uh, uh, could have been a printed piece instead of a big sticker like they did for the uh, pods the, the result looked pretty great so otherwise no nothing else to say you have also a speeder that is a great detail to have a little vehicle so it is really a nice thing too so yes I'm, I'm really really happy about about this gunship um, and I definitely recommend you to try to have it if it's possible of course and for this review i think that we are almost done i think i said uh, all the things i wanted to say and i just hope that you enjoy to watch it that you like this video comment if you want and share it of course subscribe to the channel for the other review that will come of the legos of my collection bye